Hey guys, what is going on? This is Larknock1 slash Attic, and you guys are watching a pretty sweet 16 kills in one death capture the ASC match where I do absolutely nothing to play the objective other than shoot their defense. Uh, anyways guys, what I wanted to talk about today is something that's been on my mind a bit recently and that is the Dunning-Kruger effect. What is probably going through your mind right now? Uh, of everyone that will ever watch this video, there will probably be only about 10 people that already know what this is, at least by name. Uh, if you already do know it by name, give yourself a pat on the back immediately. Everyone else that's watching, you probably understand what it is, but just don't know it by name yet. Um, I didn't know it by name until one of my friends on Facebook replied to a status I had made saying, that's basically the Dunning-Kruger effect, right? Uh, so I looked it up and lo and behold, it was exactly what I was thinking of. Uh, first off, I'll explain what it is, and then I'll get to talking uh, about how I feel about it in a little bit. Uh, so basically, the Dunning-Kruger effect is when inexperienced people don't know enough about what they're doing to understand that they're inexperienced. So they think they're the best, so they talk about being really good, and how everyone else sucks, and blah 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 blah. You know exactly what I'm talking about. On top of that, you get experienced people knowing enough about what they do to know that uh, there exists a distinct possibility of someone being far better than them. Uh, so they don't act like they're good. For the most part, they stay pretty much silent. And then you get this third group of people that are actually really, really experienced, but they say they're complete crap, um, either because they want to hustle you or because they actually believe that, you know, they're completely inexperienced um, in relative terms to what they could possibly be. Um, and then you get people like lack virus out of that kind of situation. You know, that's besides the point. Um, so unfortunately, what this does to the world is make inexperienced people out to be the very best. Um, and the experienced out to be somewhat unimportant, kind of average. So what does this affect, Lark Knock? Why does this matter? It matters because you can apply the Dunning-Kruger effect to almost everything, not just video games, which was probably the first thing a lot of you guys thought about. Uh, pat yourself on the back if you were thinking about anything other than video games. Uh, for example, apply the effect to intelligence. Uh, the result is that you get a lot of people saying they are so smart, who are actually rather stupid, ill-advising the populace, while uh, you have the actually smart, educated people that stay, for the most part, pretty much silent. Uh, yes, this applies to politics, it applies to religion, class warfare, pretty much anything you can think of. Uh, the inexperienced talk while the experienced stay quiet. It's an unfortunate reality, uh, but it's the one we as a people have to deal with. Uh, there is yet hope, however. There are three solutions to this problem. However, they don't all go hand in hand too well. Uh, the first solution is that the populace become more educated in general about anything to the point where we're pretty much all experienced at whatever we're doing. Uh, this is an impossibility for pretty much obvious reasons, so we'll ignore it for the most part. Uh, second, the populace become more educated about the Dunning-Kruger effect so as to be able to spot the inexperienced as those who talk the most despite having noticeably less experience in whatever they seem to be talking about. However, uh, this solution has a few problems that can't be accounted for. Now this brings me to the third solution, uh, that the experienced simply decide to stand up and tell the inexperienced to sit down uh, while they explain how it really is. Uh, this solution explains why the second solution does not always work. How can you spot the experienced and the inexperienced and decide which is which? And just like that, you need the first solution again. Otherwise, determining experience from inexperienced is impossible. So, to get the overview of this problem, you need to become experienced to determine who is experienced, such that you can listen to them to become experienced. Otherwise, you might listen to the inexperienced and become uneducated or miseducated, and then uneducate and mis miseducate others. The three solutions all confound each other, so if you want to stand up and ensure that the educated opinion is shared, you can never know whether or not you actually are educated or miseducated, preaching the gospel of the experienced or the inexperienced. So that, boys and girls, well, mostly boys, I mean, this is conduit too, is why we're all screwed. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this commentary. Uh, make sure to like this video if you liked it. Uh, fave it up if you liked it a lot. Comment if you've got anything on your mind, if you want to share anything about the, uh, the Dunning-Kruger effect, or if uh, you'd like to suggest that I do a commentary of your choosing. 
Um, and as always, guys, subscribe for more and join the family. Why not? I will see you guys later, and PEACE! Also, uh, one more thing, guys. I, I felt this needed some explanation. Um, the reason I did not put up a video on Monday was because I needed to, uh, make a video for, um, I don't know if you guys know who Mr. Hunting Noobs is, but I'm trying to get on his channel. Uh, because he just made it a pub, and he's got, like, 1,700 subs. So it could be useful, you know, I could probably pick up, like, 10 or 20 there and add to the family. So, yeah, that's just pretty much, uh, why there was no video on Monday, and, yeah. Oh, and, uh, just one more thing. I got, I gotta point this one out. This is right here is when, uh, Rage tries to put a frag... Uh, in my way, such that, you know, I get killed when I walk through the doorway, and, you know, of course, he, he kills himself, so, <laughs> that was just a little LOL moment, uh, while I was playing with him, so, uh, yep, that's pretty much it, I will see you guys later, and PEACE, again.